basically come alive and uh, the courage of sharing their story. How do you uh, kind of put that into words for us? And there was Shannon, uh, Lady Shannon is going to be our next author to share. Share with the audience, how is this making you feel? <laughs> oh, this is exciting. You know, it, it really is. Um, just to see, um, you know, purpose birth out of all of our pain, you know, because there is mm -hmm. a purpose. Um, and if I can, I'll answer your other question. Um, why did I say yes to Ina? Um, yeah. How could I not, Sandy? How could <laughs> I not say, say yes to Ina? Ina and I met on Clubhouse where we were um, in the Narcissist Abuse um, Awareness Club, that, a club that I formed for survivors um, on there. And every week Ina would come in and she would share her stories. And we have a lot in common. Ina was uh -huh. in for 24 years. I was in the military for 23 years. Um, and that's where I began my journey, um, finding out about um, narcissist abuse. So my chapter was called um, Broken Chains. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm the owner of Narc Free Living LLC, where we break the chains of narcissist abuse. And I focused on my chapter. I was telling the story of how I was bound. I've always been a believer. God has always walked with me, but I didn't always walk with God. And, and I made some choices because I was under generational curses and unprocessed trauma and things that happened to me. And that caused me not to be able to recognize the, the red flag. I ended up marrying a narcissistic, uh, physically abusive sociopath. Um, so my chapter, the first part of my chapter was called Bound. So I took the readers on a journey. And then the second part of my chapter, um, and I won't go into too many details, but the second chapter, the second part of my book was called um, Unbound. And that's when God began, when I began to, began to lament and call out to God to save me mm -hmm. from this. I began to ask God questions because I knew I had, it was so much more in me. I knew that this was not God's purpose and my destination in life. So I began to cry out to God to ask him some questions and began to ask him about marriage and abuse. And he began to show me that Shannon, uh, you made this choice, but I'm going to help you um, exit Exodus out of this demonic covenant in which I was a part of. So he did that. So that's the unbound part. Um, and then my last part was called Unbreakable, where I began to learn that God, uh, with the power of the Ruach HaKodesh, with the power of the Holy Spirit, that I am indeed unbreakable, that everything that the enemy used to, to come against me, God now uses it to help build up his kingdom. And now today I get to help women and coach women out of narcissist abuse. So the very thing that the enemy used to try to destroy me is the very thing that God used to empower me. And if he can do it for me, if he can do it for anybody, if he can do it for me, he can do it for anybody. God is no respecter of a person. So I'm just simply yes. the servant as a vessel to tell somebody if I can make it out, so can you. And so can these other ladies. We are proof of, of that, how God will take everything that the enemy used against you and turn it around for his glory and your story. Yes. Mm, that's good. That's mm -hmm. good. Oh, my goodness. I am reading as you're talking, I am paying attention, but I'm looking here at the introductory from the visionary author. And I came across something as you were saying, I want to share.